Quattro is not the right word. I said <laughs> Trace not. Dos Quattro. <laughs> Trace Dos Quattro. It's been a while since I've been to Spanish class. And I'm Alan Dempsey, the dumb one. Who are you? <laughs> I am Rafiq Shahid. I'd like to say the smart one, but I'm guessing that's not true either. <laughs> this show is called So How About This? And with us, we have Mr. Gordon Dixon. Gordon Dixon with his sultry baritone. Oh, yeah. Joy- mm. Hello, mm. Baby. Oh, baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's got to have that baritone because uh, apparently Mr. Gordon Dixon is doing a reality TV show. Oh, Tell me baby. about that. <laughs> It, <laughs> it's real reality. It's a broke TV show. No, it's <laughs> it's five. It's six comics go in a random person's house, stay the night, do a show, and just keep them up the whole time. Talk shit, basically. That's and you all, got that's I mean, it's a it full really like camera crew, the whole thing. We we are the camera crew, so it's not <laughs> as good as it should be. But we brought all our cameras and we just start filming shit. We did some pranks last time we were um, in Georgia, Atlanta. So, yeah, it was... Um, I mean, that's you can't get much realer than I have a camera and decided to film something. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I mean, when I heard reality show, I was thinking, oh, well, he signed a contract with, you know, with cable, <laughs> with cable channel saw, reality show, whatever. <laughs> if you want to know how out of touch I am with reality TV, when you said signed a contract with, my brain immediately went to Bravo. Bravo. I don't, I, <laughs> dude, I don't even know the end of the sentence. Is, is true TV, is that a thing? Do they do reality shows? Yeah, I they, don't know. Yeah, I think they... Still do uh, impractical jokers or something, don't yeah, they? with that QAnon guy, yeah. or uh, what maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so, this is all I know about impractical jokers one dude is like super into MAGA, one dude like joined QAnon. There have been some claims of racism, and that's so, all. <laughs> like, all of so, those things. So, in typical comedian fashion, you're working on the best, most clear information right, that, yeah, you, that you overheard at a bar <laughs> when you had too much wine one night. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. I was like, I, I've double checked my sources. They're, I've never seen their stand up, but their show's funny. I don't know if their stand up's like equates to the show. I like the show. I've seen Sal on a bunch of podcasts. He's funny. Yeah. He's 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 one of those guys he's just fun to listen to, even if he's not Is he the one that's with uh Chris Stefano? Don't they have a podcast together? Is that I, that one? I don't know oh. things. That sounds cool. <laughs> I don't I don't know stuff. I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is always my like- brother to this day, and it's been a good I mean, it's been a good fifteen years. But to this day my brother's like he still gets into this, like, how have you not heard that song? I'm like, Phil, I don't, I don't listen to the radio. I don't watch regular TV. Yeah. I don't go to baseball games. I don't, don't go to do nightclubs. <laughs> like, I listen to the music I like and yeah. purchase. How would I have heard that right. song? Your whole life is a quarantine. You're just <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway. Dude, you'd have no idea. That's what? Funny. Somebody else got invaded? I don't know. It I've been me. hanging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of invasion, I talked to you about yeah, this. Yes, bring this we, up. We have to. All right. So, Gordon, imagine you're a world leader, right? Okay. You yeah. are in charge of the U.S. of A. You wake up one morning and Vladimir Putin is putting you on blast saying you would not look good without your shirt on because you're a flabby, doughy Westerner. Ooh. What is your response? Uh, where's, the, where's the briefcase with the button? I'm here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Damn. Right. Listen, you're just, I'm you're just wiping I'm out. I'm sensitive, man. I'm mad at everything. Dude, so you're just wiping out everybody. Everybody dying. Fuck it. <laughs> Say anything about me, everyone dies. Dude, it was so great to read this story because like, I was just Googling like weird shit. And literally, it pops up on porn. like a. I mean, some porn. Some. Uh, I'm watching porn right now. <laughs> I'm always watching porn always in my head. head. Yeah. Porn. You're like, mm, the APN. I bet the APN so sucks a good dick. <laughs> no, but like, so APN on their website, we're talking about like Vladimir Putin uh, mocks Western leaders. Uh, you know, calling them out because he's like, they don't exercise, they don't, uh, they drink, they don't do anything. They'd look flabby and doughy uh, because they are excessive like children. And part of me was like, <clears throat> how dare you be accurate? I know, right? Like dictator. <laughs> but it's just like, as a world leader, imagine having the balls to say that and then be at the like next weird. Like, those summits always feel kind of like a high school reunion like, when you watch like them on the forced. news. Yeah, it's like, 
Smile. All right, the camera's gone. All right, kill this motherfucker. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> this is like that bully in the '80s, just like calling out accurate shit that like nobody would talk about, oh, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. then having to go to like prom. <laughs> <laughs> I've never understood. Whenever you read about, I don't know, maybe it's just normal, but it's like whenever you read about, you know, the fucked up dictatorship wherever, mm -hmm. right? There's always some element of it that makes no sense at all. Like even in the context of what you're doing, uh, I remember reading about Iran. I don't know if they've changed, but back when they were super dictatorial, they, they censored all their media, mm -hmm. which you go, okay, that sounds like a dictator thing. That yeah. makes sense. The guy who was the censor in the government was blind. <laughs> the guy who ran the department could not see. So what they would do is they would sit in front of him and read scripts oh to him. God. And they were like, part of their directive was they had to like read it as monotone as possible. Don't put any inflection on oh, it. Don't man. act it out just because he needs to hear the words so he can know what needs to be censored. Why does he need to hear it? Right? <laughs> Have the people that work for you do it. Like, that's <laughs> imagine, imagine, though, like just other pieces of art. Like, imagine if somebody was like, all right, uh, we've got a nude Venus de Milo right, as exactly. statue. So her <laughs> left nipple is at a 45 degree <laughs> angle. Her right nipple's a little droopy. He's got to feel it. He's like, yeah, I don't think. Nah, nah yeah, we're going to put that. That's censored. That's censored. Right? It's like, can we, what if we put, like, a T-shirt on it? Does that? <laughs> a T-shirt. Just put something. He don't care what it is. That's crazy, though, man. I love, I don't know. There's a certain portion of me that, like, <clears throat> has a soft spot for, like, that kind of insanity. Because this goes back to the thing I told you about the uh, <clears throat> other day of, like, of like, there's a certain kind of crazy where you go like all the way through and you come back around, and those guys are always like two inches away from coming all the way back around. Because I go, a blind sensor probably is the most fair dude, <laughs> right? Like he's not he's not looking at South Park it, it being inverted like, on itself the whole thing. Yeah. He's not looking at South Park being like, ah, oh, I hate the animation style. Sure. I'm gonna fucking censor this whole thing. He's just like, nope. Whatever it is, is whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He don't care about, he just cares about the words, man. Can't see shit. But that's, when you sent me that, he sent me this text about Putin just said, and he quoted him. My first thought was like, yeah, of course he said that. Like, that, that's, that's what these people do. Yeah. Like, he's going to say something great. Right? Yeah. Like, like, you know it's going to be it's today cool shit. Yeah. yeah like, it's today the day he'll say something that makes, yeah. I, I remember the last Trump debate when he, well, I guess it was against Biden. And all the people on the internet who had been hating him for four years were just incensed to the next day. And I was like, are you fucking surprised? Like, yeah. <laughs> what did you think he was going to do exactly. last night? <laughs> totally changed right away. He's yeah. 74. They're never going to change. Like, that's him. This is always like when you ha when you go over to like a friend's house and they complain about like some shit that's been going on in their neighborhood yeah. since they moved in. Yeah, it's like ah oh, that damn dog's barking again. It's like you've lived here for, for four years. years. <laughs> dogs <What>? always bark. <laughs> it's gonna bark tomorrow too. There is well now as a guy <laughs> as a guy who lived next to a, a a house that would point concerts at my living room. There there is a there. Yes, there's complaining, but then there's also that breaking point of like, should I spray everyone with bullets? Should I, <laughs> I should just spray it? everyone with bullets, right? <laughs> After four years straight, you're probably like, yeah, it's time. It's time. I think it's time to do that. <laughs> Shine your gun over really? Yeah, it's time. <laughs> See, but Alan can't do that because then he just becomes another white dude with yeah. mental illness. Yeah. Well, well. that <laughs> becomes. <laughs> what? He finally snapped all that bullying. <laughs> How long have you been doing comedy, Gordon? So it'll be three years, uh, July 25th, actually. So nice. like a week and a half. Where'd you start? I started at the Tampa Improv. Okay. Yeah. On like, the open on mic the, nights? Uh, yeah, on the on the heaven oh, stage. Yeah. <laughs> so you're all the way in heaven. The, the, the nights where you go, why am I even bothering? Because yes. it's just full of drunken people yeah. screaming at each yes. other. And I was like, I went like two weeks, two weeks prior to that. And I was just like, man, I want to um, just see what the open mic is like. I didn't know anything about the open mic. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to be working in Ebor. I was valeting, and one of the valets was a security guard there. And he and I asked him, like, how do you even get on stage? He's like, just come sign up for an open mic. He's like, you're funny. You should do it. And I was like, nah, I ain't going to do that. 
Like my whole life, I was like, I, I can't do comedy. I was always around funny people. My family's funny, but I was like, I could never get on stage and do that in front of people. So are they on board with you pursuing the dream, or is this no, like... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We were parents. talking about that before we hit record. Yeah, man. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. My, well, my parents are Jehovah's Witnesses, so like, oh. like this, is, this is the total opposite of what they want you to be, mm-hmm. you know? They want you to be a Jehovah's Witness forever. <laughs> Don't do anything. Don't, right. Don't don't notice talent and just say, I wanted. To, I was really good at basketball. I wanted to play basketball. They're like, Nah, don't do that. We don't wow. need the millions. We don't need the millions. It's wow. it's weird that Jehovah Jehovah's Witness sounds like when somebody talks about a career path. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it's like <laughs> my parents were accountants. My parents were Jehovah's Witnesses, and it's like, so right, you'll right, be right. a Jehovah like, Witness too, I yeah, guess. Yeah, like, yeah. what's the starting cap? Like, you, is that- <laughs> there's no benefits. You don't get no four hundred one k, nothing, man. You just serve till you die. <laughs> That's yep. it. That's all they do is serve till you die, die. joyfully. <laughs> yeah. And if they're lucky, they're part of the select group of people that is like, what's the number? Like 120,000. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's everybody asked me about that. I'm like, how the fuck y'all know about this shit? I barely really knew about it. I was in it. Like, <laughs> but yeah, you, we used to, so what they do is on Jesus' death, the Memorial Day, they, they, they give like a talk and stuff, and then they pass blood, which is wine, and then um, unleavened bread around. And the people that are anointed that are supposed to go to heaven are part of the 144,000. They drink it and eat it. So we'd be looking around like the whole How time. How do you know? <laughs> right. you, Does somebody give you a card? No. And tell you you're so the guy? That's the question we always, how do you know? Because when you know, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> because you, can, you would be crazy and tell yourself, I'm anointed. So I'm going to drink the wine and eat. And, you, and people can't question that. So there were some crazy people who were like, there ain't no way in hell this guy is going there. There's no way. But yeah. Randy funny. shows up, he's doing like a shot of heroin. <laughs> like, he's like, nah, I'm good, man. I didn't, I didn't feel anointed a second ago, but right now I feel super <laughs> anointed. There's this one black brother, I, I had to say black, because he would drink the whole wine. And mm. you're not supposed to. You're supposed to take a sip. He would drink the whole thing. I was like, that That's guy a was wine, though. That guy's not going to heaven, man. No, he was very anointed. <laughs> he, was, oh, yeah. Oh, he, had, yeah. he had triple anointed. Yeah, he was drunk, too, though. <laughs> so here's here's a good question along those lines, right? So it's the members of your congregation who feel that they're anointed, yeah. right? But there are other Jehovah's Witnesses out there. Yeah. There are other congregations, yep. right? And I'm sure there's more than just 144 thousand jehovah's witnesses so what happens uh, eight million or something right so what happens when you get to like a bigger pool like is this like march madness rule it's the lottery (laughs) man you gotta put a dollar in to see if you win i don't know right well that like okay so you take everyone who's anointed in your congregation you take them to atlanta right and you bring them all in does everyone at that Meeting, like, Go look around. Which one is more than, than the other? I don't know. That's funny, though. That be, that's funny. I don't know, man. So they say God comes to you. That's what they say. I don't know. Like, no one ever, when you ask them, they won't tell you anything. Mm. I just know. Well, I, that's not an answer, man. I need to know. How do right, you know? Yeah. Did he come to you in a dream or whatever? He I just slipped. Know. He slipped the pastor a 20 one night. <laughs> hey, bro. Let's talk to you real quick. Hey, what does God look like? Is he really black? <laughs> I like the idea of he showing up like you said. Is Jehovah's Witnesses God black? Is that a thing? I, no. Oh, okay. I was just talking shit. <laughs> okay. Black Jesus. I mean, that is a thing. I dated a girl who had a like a. I, I can't use anything other than the word beautiful image of Black Jesus, right? But it was very weird because like you see like white Jesus yeah. in someone's house and it's always like this demure kind of figure, right? Black Jesus is fucking ripped. <laughs> like, like, right? It's very weird to be like... I, no, never mind. I almost said something really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stop myself. <laughs> He's got a huge dick. He's <laughs> really yeah, I was that, gonna, I was gonna jump right into the stereotype uh, pool, and yeah, I was like, nope, yeah. nope, nope, nope. See that? That, that was always the thing. Does that, he look like that dude in the? Oh, I can't think of his name. The guy that would in the music video, he's basically just naked. The song is how is the, how does it feel? Oh, it starts with a D. Is it D'Angelo? D'Angelo. Like, yeah. It, how does uh, it feel? Yeah. He's naked the whole time. It kind so like at least in this photo, right? It was photo. Uh, picture. <laughs> was it Michael Jackson? Yeah. No. Not Michael. That's what it was. That is so like, it was, it's it's brother. He's got a crown of thorns, right? He's still got like Western hair for some reason. So like long brown of hair. Of course. So he's a pet. <laughs> <laughs> he, it look 
It looked like if somebody took young Cat Williams' face and put it on like, and young Cat Williams' <laughs> hair. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Right, and like put it on like some ripped dude's body, yeah. and that was just like, yo, this is Black Jesus. And like, <laughs> now that's the Jesus I can get by. This is awesome. <laughs> It, you know, she was a great girl. I like my but, Jesus to turn me on right? whenever well, I Well, so that was the weird thing about it is because there was a certain <laughs> portion of me. Yeah. There was a certain portion of me that was like, yo, I'm glad you're a Christian too, but like, I feel like you're in love with Jesus, <laughs> yeah. not like you love Jesus. I really love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Call his name every time I'm having sex. That's just rubbing one on. I love Jesus. Come on, man. Look at me, we're having sex, not you, Jesus. <laughs> 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 she just keeps glancing over at Jesus. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh, Jesus. Man. Uh so something I wanted to ask you uh to kind of go in a different path before we go straight to hell uh, is uh you had mentioned your job earlier, yeah. right? And I know you work a different job than parking cars now. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, I, I, I get, totally different. I was doing this job while I was parking cars, too. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I gotta ask, man. You got you work in sanitation. Yeah. I've seen the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I'm <laughs> in the that. Like, what inspired you to get into sanitation? Um. So, I, I, first of all, I originally grew up in Kissimmee. So I was living with a friend of mine that worked for the city of Kissimmee. And now I needed a job. And he was like, hey, bro, I can get you a job. Just go apply. So I applied. I got in there. And I was doing sanitation there for five years. And then when I moved to Tampa, I got a job with the city of Clearwater. I moved, I moved to Tampa for an ex-fiance. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Anyways, that's a whole non story. But, um, yeah, and I just moved, transferred over to the city of Clearwater. And I've just been doing that for four years now, too. See, when you say a friend got me into sanitation, that sounds like every Jersey guy who's ever said, oh, yeah, my buddy got me into sanitation. <laughs> like, got me into sanitation, yeah. I, f- I feel like you th- like you say that and you're like, oh, I worked for them for five years. It's like, all right, cool. What's the outfit name? Like, what? Yeah, that? exactly, right? It's, it's uh, I hate it. I hate, I hate driving, but it was just like, I got my CDL. I was like, I was just. Mm. What's the actual job? What do you do? So I, uh. I'm a side, it's called a side loader, the the one with the arms, the truck on the side of the mm-hmm. arm. Uh, I pick up uh, recycling cans. Oh, yeah. Which is basically garbage because they don't recycle anything. So <laughs> I'm picking up garbage. Right. right. People put all food in there. Like, it's baby diapers. Well, who's going to recycle that shit? Well, but <laughs> even when Literally. it goes to, you, you throw everything plastic in there and then it gets to the plant and you find out that, like, 5% of all the plastic it, shit you put in there is even recyclable. recyclable. Yeah. yeah. But they don't even do that now. They just burn it. Really? So I guess it's energy. I don't it's know. Recycling. It's well, energy. I don't know. That's. I guess that's a way of recycling. Yeah. That's Cause, crazy. Because China wasn't taking, I, I don't know if they still do or not, but they weren't taking recycling, so they just, I guess they just burn it. Yeah, that's a big, it, that's one of those, like, green secrets people don't really talk about. Like, yeah. every company goes, we need you to do your part to recycle. And yeah. it's like, motherfucker, when I send you things, you just ship it off to India or China and then and also forget what happened. And I'm sure that has no environmental impact, no, right, shipping yeah. garbage around the world. They even put the recycling symbol on stuff that's not even recyclable. <laughs> just so that you feel right. better about it. Like, styrofoam shit is not recyclable at all. Nothing yeah. styrofoam. People are like, that's recyclable, man. There's a symbol on it. That No, it doesn't mean shit. It's funny. Oh, they found who's, you. who's dying? I mean, hopefully me. I wake up every morning. <laughs> it's definitely me. Hopefully, Rafiq. Uh, definitely, Alan. I've had like cops, like um, if it's like a drug house, and they and they think there's something in their garbage and recycling cans, they'll have you go pick it up, <laughs> bring it over to them, and really, it, yeah, and they'll that's, go through it and search it. Yeah, that's fucking nuts, man. It's fun. It's fun, man. I'm like, that's a drug house. Okay, I'm gonna get some weed when I come back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get right on their radar. Yeah, right. <laughs> do they have to like go through? Do they have to show you paperwork or anything, or do they just walk up to you and go, "Hey, go get that"? Like, how does that work? They, I don't know. They talk to the supervisor and they're like, "Hey, we need we need to search this uh, garbage or whatever." Wow. So yeah. That, yeah, they do that. I've done it a couple times. I was like, "Yeah, all right, all right." <laughs> <laughs> See, awesome. now, now I'm thinking of like just on a in a sketch format, like what all the shit you would find in that garbage can. Bro. Right, it's like a hydroponics kit box and like a fucking manual that's like how to grow weed in your own home yeah i mean yeah you would find everything there and use it because nobody's like they're not gonna search my garbage you know what i'm saying like (laughs) yes they are (laughs) all the drug dealers out there they search garbage 
I uh, I pick up Hulk Hogan's uh, recycling can too. I see him every now and then. Oh yeah, does oh, he yeah. just yeah. scream the N word? Out, <laughs> out, or like he gives that? me a hundred every year, so I think he's trying to pay me off. <laughs> okay, that. okay, I'll but take I, it. Yeah. I would have took fifty. I'm half black. So yeah. I'm cool with that. Uh, uh. <laughs> But yeah, he's, he's you don't I've have to give me the four hundred, man. It's yeah, yeah, I, I would have took fifty, bro. <laughs> Here you go, brother. That's exactly how it's like. Here you go, brother. <laughs> wow. When I used to work at the airport, I would see Hulk like once a week, and it was Hulk was always that weird moment because like he would come through the airport, and of course everyone makes the joke about him saying the N word or whatever. But yeah. it's like to me, the thing was always weirder was like it was him and his daughter and so like i wouldn't immediately go to n-word i'd be like oh they're standing way too close together right now yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> like are those stories actually true or is yeah. this like just some bullshit yeah he seemed cool man i lost respect for him after the sex tape because it was just boring it wasn't no fun. Oh, his, yeah. his moves were stiff i was like i can't watch this anymore. <laughs> well, i mean like after, after i was done beating up i can't watch this yeah. anymore <laughs> after you after you busted <laughs> uh, you know i'm over it <laughs> i mean i imagine if you take that many steel chairs to the head eventually you're just oh, like yeah. in oh, and yeah. out baby that's all i can do that's all i can do <laughs> you have to do everything i'm gonna just stand here <laughs> he can't but, lay but, but, but you know Right before he comes, he hulks up. He hulks <laughs> that one arm, that one arm goes, and then the other arm gets going. He rips this weird layer of skin off. Yeah, rip, yeah. skin looks weird. I mean, it's the roids, man. Yeah, man. But he's still massive, even though, like, he's not, obviously he's not what he used to be, but he's still massive, like, yeah. round dude. That was always the weird thing. Before um, Charlie Murphy died, right, you know, like he got off the roids and... Got he, real skinny. Yeah, and it was very weird because, like, you could see, like, there was, at least for a while when I was going to the improv, like, there was a period where he was just fucking yoked. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, like, as he got sicker and sicker and sicker, yeah. you know, like, the story became, like, yo, man, he's not taking, you know, roids or anything anymore. And then it became, like, oh, he's sick. Yeah. And then one year, it was just like, nope. How'd he oh. die? Uh, cancer, so right? cancer. Was it think, cancer? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I knew uh, really, I shouldn't say knew. It's not like I hung out with the guy, but I knew a really, really important, influential uh, comic book artist. And I found out he had died. And instead of even being shocked, I kind of went, oh, okay. Because like the last, <laughs> because like the last couple times I'd seen him, he was just looking thinner and thinner. Yeah. And, and I was like, I know he's older, but he doesn't. You know, he looks older than he is, you know. And then when I heard he died, you know, the comic book industry, like, shockwaves. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, mm. that I get it, you know. Yeah. That's like uh, Chadwick Boseman. Remember when he, he had that vi interview, he's real skinny looking. Everybody's yeah. like, oh, he's probably losing weight for a role or something. I, For me, the thing that's the most fucked up about that is uh, I think it was, like, before that interview, somebody had asked him, like, about Black Panther 2, and he's like... I ain't gonna be in it. Yeah, people always laugh, like we're laughing at it as a joke, and he's and it was just like, he's oh, out. that's fucking dark. Oh man, <laughs> he's not gonna be in it. He's one hundred forty-four thousand. He's in heaven right now. Ooh. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> how many sips did he get yeah, during yeah, service? A lot, a lot, barely. <laughs> I mean, if there's anyone who I go like, I right, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this: Do all the Jehovah's Witnesses? Do the one hundred forty-four thousand all go at once? Or is it like, did a guy who died 30 years ago, could he be part of the 144? <laughs> I don't know. I never paid enough attention to know all the details. Like, I don't know. I was the worst Jehovah's Witness you could ever possibly imagine. I, like I, I was about to say, it's, it's not so much that you left as much as it is you just stopped going. <laughs> stopped going. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't tell him, hey, guys, I'm not coming yeah. back. I just stopped. You don't, you, like you don't have the heroic leaving the no, cult story. Just Yours is yeah. just like, ah, I'm tired. You know, just it's not going to show up. You know, it'd be great is if he went back and like, like if we could cut into the building and there's like just some poor dude standing there with like his cup and like his uh, wafer and he's just like, this motherfucker's never gonna show up. <laughs> like, when, he's Gordon. supposed to be here. It's I got, been years. <laughs> I got the I got the document that said he's one of the guys. He's I'm waiting for him. Never knew. He never told me. God never told me. I ain't gonna tell God him. God sent gonna, me the email. I have the attachment. I'll never look at my emails. I'll never know. <laughs> I'm technically still a Joe's witness. I just never, you know, once you just become, they call you inactive. Mm. I can activate back up. <laughs> activate. All I do is clock in and activate right. back up. I, just, I, I, always, I always find it funny when 
not that I'm a genius by any means, but when I know more about the person's religion, like I had this Jewish friend and I would always like bust his balls about Jewish stuff. And he like never got the joke. He didn't even know what I was like referring <laughs> to. <the> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't get in. I never really got into it. Like I was supposed to. So, cause I never wanted to do it. Right. So for me, my family has got the big three, right? We've got, Christians, we got Jews, we got Muslims. So there's always been... <laughs> so you're covered. <laughs> well, so the, the weird thing, right, is like when we had like big family get-togethers, there was always like this kind of moratorium of like nobody fucking pray uh, because that is uh. definitely going to start shit <laughs> yeah. with somebody. But the people who always started the most shit, and this to this day makes me laugh, was my Aunt Josie, who was uh, Eastern Orthodox and... Another one of my aunts, uh, Catherine, who was uh, like Roman Catholic, oh, and it was always one of them would just like slip in a prayer to Mary, and oh, it would become no. like this big. <laughs> we don't believe Mary was a saint. Of course, she was a saint. Oh, you don't say awesome. that in my house. No. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're supposed to be at like. You would just watch like the Jews and the Muslims like sitting in the living room, yeah. just being like, "What are they talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't but here's that. the sad no. part. <laughs> all, the sad part is ultimately all three of them are ultimately point praying to the same dude. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's like the, there's the dude in the middle yeah. and then the offshoots off of yeah, him. It's, it's, the, it's the it's the religion tree. Like it all yeah. just yeah. branches off of one person. But I we, see what the Jehovah's Witnesses do. They don't hang around any other religions. So like my my mom's side of the family, they're not Jehovah's Witnesses. They're not really religious either. I think probably Catholic or something. But we could never. Hang out with them. Like, we would go there for, like, a day, see my grandmother and whoever showed up at the house, and then that was it. We'd have wow. to be on my Jehovah's Witness side. But now that I'm older on that one, I don't even talk to the Jehovah's Witness side, right. and I'm, I talk to my mom's side all the mm -hmm. time, so it's weird. Would they even try to talk back if you tried talking to them, or would it be, you're inactive, uh, we don't talk to you? It, it just depends on the person. Some people would mm. be like, I can't talk to you. You're, you know, you're, you're worldly, they consider you. Mm. you know? Or they'll be like, yeah, it's good to see you. All right, but keep it short, so. I know, so my knowledge of Jehovah's Witnesses, right, just on the bare bones is the 144,000. I also know, like, they don't celebrate birthdays. Nothing. Or, like, uh, any holidays. No holidays. Mother's Day, Father, nothing. Right. To which, I, like, I never understood that. I, like, I understand the whole, like, separate yourself from the world on a religious yeah. level, right? Yeah. To be like, oh, okay, like, we can't partake and these things because that's, you know, what the heathen does or whatever, yeah. right? But there's a certain thing where it's like just going like, hey, man, I'm glad you were bored. And then being like, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh -huh. Age is just a number. That's what they say. Age. When you can live forever, why celebrate every, every birthday? Wow. Like, man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I want the presents. I wonder how many, how many like really hardcores actually forget the number. Because they just like don't celebrate it. They don't mm. think about it. They just... I don't think everyone that I knew, they you always know your birthday. Like I got I do a joke on stage acting like I don't know and I just realized it. But mm. um but everybody knows that I always knew it. I would wake my parents up to see what they would say, be like, Yeah, fifteen today. Mm. Like, we <laughs> Put the suit on, we're going door to door, okay. Oh wow. <laughs> but wow. yeah, they don't celebrate anything. Every I guess every holiday has like a origin story and that's what they base it off of. That's why they don't celebrate them. So here's, a, oh. here's an interesting It's always question. a bad story. Because you, well, you why wouldn't you just make your own? Like, we believe X, Y, and Z on this day. I mean, every religion does it. Why can't we? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> there's, yeah, th this sounds like a cross between, like, super religious and super lazy of, like, well, yeah, it's man, both. We, yeah. Were, like, we don't celebrate holidays. It's like, well, what if we made our own? It's like, that's too much work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Every year, I don't have to put up that tree. Right. Well, hey, that's I don't, a perfect excuse. I don't have to staple we lights to my house. This year, guess what? We're Joe's witnesses now. That's my, <laughs> <real magic. laughs> my first brother was born, and my next brother, he was like, I'm not buying no Christmas present for this kid. We're going to become <laughs> Joe's witnesses. Like, Don't have to celebrate holidays and get free wine every week. It's yeah. great. <laughs> if you're anointed. If you're anointed. <laughs> just And you'll, you'll know. You'll know. You'll know. <laughs> you'll know. They, this is what they used to say. How do you know you're a boy? I'm like, well... I mean, I know that. Like, yeah, that's all I know. I'm like, eh, shut up. I hear that Even in that, though, it's like I have visual I have proof. Penis. Like I can <laughs> show you. <laughs> you two are the most insensitive, <laughs> heteronormative, cisgendered <laughs> pieces of shit that I have ever seen. So hey, you 90s, two, maybe nineties. Yeah. So you two watched the Bull Burr special, I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure, that had nothing to do with that, but yeah. <laughs> Now you did so d- you you did watch it? I did. Did you watch it? I watched some of it. The latest one, right? Right, yeah. yeah I watched some of so, it. So like my favorite thing in that whole special is when he called out women for like women's sports because I had never thought of it in that context. I didn't see that one. Right. I didn't see that part. He does this great bit where he's talking about how like women like women failed women because women don't give a shit about women's sports. Yeah. All right. He's like, I don't, he's like, I don't care. That's your thing. Yeah. Like name, name the top NBA, a WNBA player in the country. Name a franchise. Name like a team. You She's know? gotta be hot. I, he points the mic at the audience. Yeah. He goes, name, <laughs> he goes, name <laughs> three WNBA players. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Cheryl Swoops retired <laughs> 80 years ago. <laughs> Uh, and it, it's just one of those things where, like, I had never realized it because I've had female friends come and tell me the the whole, you know, like, oh, you need to support women's sports, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, motherfucker, I don't support any sports. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're not even into male sports. Why would I support right? yeah, exactly. hey, like, why, like, why do I have to get gender specific to give a shit about that? Exactly. You know? I, you know, I try because I love basketball. But I tried to get in a WNBA. I was like, I'm going to do it. Mm. I love basketball. I got friends that play basketball. So I'm like, I'm, let me just see. No, I couldn't. The first right. two minutes, it was like 38 missed layups. I was like, it's a layup. <laughs> yeah. It's easy. Like, no. Sorry. It's like, oh, cool. I can watch solid fundamentals. Yeah, women don't even support women's sports. Come on, man. WNBA, nobody. I went to one game in Orlando when I lived in Orlando, and there was like 12 people there. Wow. It was way more than that, but there was so many empty seats. It was like, this is is terrible, man. It's like open mic. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's All the open, open mic for pro sports. Yeah, it is. Man. Maybe that's what we should have. We should have a gender neutral team. Yeah, right, or a gender neutral league, and just have WNBA as like an open the, mic tryout. Like one team will be the Zims, and the other yeah. one will be the Zers. Right, the, the Zims G versus has the Zers. More fans than WNBA, oh. and that is like amateur basketball. They should that's, sprinkle some of those guys on the WNBA <laughs> and just let's get this going, man. Guy yeah. and a guy and female like sport like basketball. Yeah, like, that's what that I'm would, saying, man. I would I would want more I wanna bang for your buck. Dunk on. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, that'd be. I used to do that when I played basketball. If there was a girl, on the dunk court, over a girl. We would all just be like, we're going at her man, and just dunk all over. But this is the '90s. I'm sorry. I like to apologize for the shit I did. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should just end every sentence that way from now on. This was the, the '90s. 90s I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I had, By the uh, way, remember in the 90s, you thought that you were living in the most progressive, right. cutting-edge era? Like, oh, yeah. this is it. This, this is this where is we're a, going. Fucking rest. Nirvana? Are you kidding me? This is dead. This. <laughs> it's, oh, it's all uphill from here. Right. All uphill. It is so insane. And this is I kind of like that, though, right? Because, again, you go all the way around and come back out the other side. Because it's like there's a point when we get to Nirvana, right, where we're just like we are the most progressive people in existence, and then aliens are going to show up, and people are like, "Hey, man, I can't hate black people anymore because there's like Zerblaxians <laughs> over there, and frankly, I don't want none of them touching my daughter." Oh, and don't place. touch my daughter. That's <laughs> always the basis of everything. Don't touch my daughter. Okay. <laughs> How, oh, yo, super fucked up. I know, but like, have you ever accidentally come across racist porn before? Where, okay. <laughs> like, like I don't I, broke I, your brain. Right I enjoyed there, watching so. the wheels spin there. <laughs> no, I've come across the title being racist, but it never like they weren't like. So it said, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna say the full title, but it was like you're probably an allowed N-word, uh, Edward Dick, right? And I was just like, okay, so it's yeah, be a white girl calling the guy the N word the whole, and, and and she was garbage. But I'm just saying, it was like the title was racist. So th- <laughs> that's kind of what I'm like. So I've clicked on interracial porn before, yeah, it's right? It's like me watching my parents have sex. That's definitely what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I wish I didn't relate to you on that, right. but I do get it's you. So like, <laughs> like, like, this isn't even, yeah, it's not even a fetish for you. This is, no, just, this yeah. is real life. This is just what happens. I yeah. accidentally walked in on that yeah, all the right. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all the time. At least Jehovah's Witnesses, right. oh. At least Jehovah's Witnesses can do that. Big, well, missionary, and don't make eye contact. That's oh, what I'm boring. <laughs> Wait, I... Eye contact is the sin. It's no, the, just, no. eye contact. <laughs> you can't touch each other. Just the tip. Can't so. touch each other. That's like those. That's all, the whole through the sheet yeah. thing. Yeah, That's exactly. It. That's those ultra orthodox. 
<laughs> okay, totally get it off topic, but fuck it, I have to explore this now. Do you think that ultra conservative Jewish concept of hole through the sheet, right? Do you think that's how glory hole started? It could have been. I kind of feel like it has to be like slow mo has a moment where he's like, that has to be just, the first glory hole. Right? I think it's. <laughs> I, I think it's adorable it's that adorable. you think perversions had like an origin point that developed <laughs> over time there, as if we weren't doing horrifically filthy shit to each other the second we went, hey, that feels good when I put that thing in there. Yeah. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I get where you're coming from. I'm just saying somebody had to be the first person to be like, I need wolf ears on in order to get <laughs> fucked. Oh, <laughs> like, I mean, there's always the first of something. Right? Yeah. You mean like the Celtic religion ceremonies yeah, where they and, all had wolf ears on? Right, and that's other? the first person. Like, <laughs> right. I don't, that's my point is I don't think it was. Right. None of this shit's new. Not new, but there's always somebody who was like, I'm going to try this. And then everyone's like, I'm going to try that too. You know? And to be like, oh, oh, hey, you know. Yeah. There was some caveman named Thug who was going around to his buddies <laughs> like, Yo, I know it's real fucked up, but like when she puts her mouth down there, it it's fucking amazing. amazing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Again, I think it's adorable that you think that we're the ones who say it's fucked up. Yeah. They were just like, hey, check this out. <laughs> oh, man. It was Adam and Eve. It had to be them, right? You believe in Adam and Eve? I don't know. Yeah. I got to ask that, right? You, what do you believe? Yeah, so like I'm, I'm Christian, okay. which makes the whole dating thing I'm doing now is so weird. <laughs> I, um, like, I'm Christian, so, like, I, you know, believe in the origin story and stuff yeah. like that. Because I feel like there has to have been some initial point. Even yeah. if it's just, oh, what do you call Adam and Eve? It's like, uh, it's a consciousness thing based off the first two Adams to collide. Who gives a shit? Yeah, you know what I mean? something happened. Um, <laughs> something happened. But, like, I kind of look at Adam and Eve, and again, I go, were Adam and Eve doing everything, everything? Was Adam going like, all right, we've tried the top hole. Can we try the, this one in the back? <laughs> like, well, see, that's what I'm... Because they were, they were the first. They were supposed to do everything. They right? were supposed to name all the... Supposedly, that's what the Bible... They named all the animals. So they had to come up with 69, right? I think right? they yeah. just... All that came about. Hey, let me... T- turn around. Let me see this. Right? Right. See. <laughs> exactly. What's this hole do? Let's see. Right? right? <laughs> she had like, to look at his dick, look at her, and be like, I think this goes into that. I think, right? See, what, what's even great, though, is, like, if you're talking about, like, everything, everything, there had to have been a moment where Eve was like, all right, well, you turn around. Maybe this goes into that. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he was like, you know, that nah. didn't work. Yeah, that didn't like- work. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, that don't work. That don't, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> give, it not, old, give it the old college try. Right. Give it the old, no. <laughs> But not even with anything there. She was just like, just like, all right, I'll hold your hips and try and do it from the back. Now, nah, yeah, does that? No, it doesn't is work. it? It's like I just feel like you're bouncing going, off my butt. He's like, like, yeah, that's awesome. Mm, I don't think this my hole's doing, do yeah, right. doing something. Doing <laughs> something. I don't think my hole does the thing, the same thing your hole does. Yeah, no, that's, it, yeah. <laughs> that's fun. I always like thinking about that stuff. <laughs> no, like the origin of things. I always like thinking general. about girls <laughs> with no penises trying to fuck guys in the ass I and mean, not working. I think about that shit all the time. I that's, mean, once a day. That's, like, that's how that's I'm going to look at everything now. It's just, what is the origin story, origin right? story of this? Like, thanks. The, the origin story of like a lot of shit in general is so fascinating. Like the reason why we use the electrical current that we do now is because Thomas uh, Edison killed an elephant. That's literally the reason why. And it's Killed so insane. An yeah. So when Tesla and Edison were having that big electric battle, he came out and he was talking about the dangers of Tesla's current, which is actually a far superior form of like current transmission. And to prove that it was deadly, he brought an elephant oh. in and like electrocuted it to death using Tesla's current. I was like, see how dangerous <laughs> this is? <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's a good wow. way to prove a point. That's right. definitely a good way to, you know, sell your right. idea. But just think of like the idea of like we could have had, we could have been like a society with free a- energy now, except it's like, nah, some dude had to kill an had elephant. You <laughs> didn't kill that elephant, man. Maybe a monkey, but not an elephant, man. Those things, they're um, majestic. <laughs> fucking love people. <laughs> Humans are the most beautiful species because, like. 
we are so inclined to do like the craziest thing that should not conceptually work. Yeah. And then it works and we're all like, I guess this is how it's done now. (laughs) But we do it in the name of something else. That's, I think that's the thing I'm kind of done with science. Yeah. That's the thing I'm done with, with our species. It's like killing, you know, what's the weirdest thing I can do. I can kill an elephant in front of a bunch of people in the name of whatever, (laughs) making money. I I just, I mean, whatever the end of that is like religion, the government, the the economic system. Like we just, (laughs) that's what I'm done with. It's, it's like you list the atrocities and you go, okay, well, why did that happen? Because of that? Yeah. <laughs> because people wanted to make a few bucks? Really? Yeah. That's why we killed everybody? Well, I mean, if you look back on Iraq and uh, Afghanistan, like that whole thing, when you really get down to it, is like 9-11 happened and that was a tragedy. And then somebody at Halliburton was like, you know, we couldn't make a couple billion dollars. Well, we'll backtrack it to... <laughs> Destroy everything and then we'll build it back up. I mean, backtrack it to 9-11. That was... To those guys, that shit made sense. In the name of our God, we're going to fly planes into buildings yeah. and kill everybody. And then, and, then they all, and then it wasn't one guy. A groom full of guys yeah, looked man. at each other and went, yeah. 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 So they were like, that shit makes sense. One guy was like, you know what? And then they had to plan it. Yeah. And like, at no point did anyone wave their hand and go, wait a second. Is this stupid? Nope. Yeah. They were all on board. Yeah. You gotta I, infiltrate America, become a pilot. You know, a long, <laughs> become a long, long con, a long con, <laughs> too long. I don't have the attention span for that, man. Right. There are no. I, I like that. In the year fifty five fifty five, there are no terrorists anymore because no one has the attention we, span. It, it probably will be like that, man. It's my like, dyslexia kicks in and my ADD, ADD. I'm like, fuck this. Right. That's why I can't write too long, man. I can't write my jokes too long. Yeah. I just I lose. Do you interest. physically write? Yeah. Yeah, I write, I write every day at least. I try to write at least two jokes a day. Hell yeah, man. Even if they're not, even, and you know, 20 of them suck, and one mm-hmm. of them was good. But, yeah, I try to, I force myself at least 10, 15 minutes just write a couple of shit and then I was try doing, it up on stage. I was doing that on, like, the social medias for a while, and then, I don't know, it, maybe it's just me getting older or whatever, but the more I use social media, the more I hate using me social too. media. Yeah. No, you're right. It's, it, I hate it. You know, because but that's all it is now. Everything's based off social media. Yeah, it's like how many Instagram followers do you have? It's like I don't fucking care. Like I post shit on Instagram because I go, I want people to visually see yeah. what I'm doing, not because I want people to be like, he's funny. I guess I'll go see a show. That's what I want you know, them to like, do. That's why I post my shit though. That's that's what we. Sh- I mean, not you should. You do whatever you want, but right. that's what I want to do. I just want to make people want to come see me on stage. Well, that it ain't working. <clears throat> <laughs> I, want to see I, love, I, I, I just love how like honest that was it's so you know, true. It, for me it's like you and he's berated me for this to no end but it's like <laughs> you do these things like nowadays you do these things not because you want to but because it's like that's what you do in order to gain any kind Anything. of traction yeah. anymore. because no one takes you seriously if you don't if, that's what it is followers now Right, like people hit me up on my because in my my Facebook reels I got twenty two thousand followers. I don't even know how that happened; it just happened. And people hit me. How did you get it? To, what was the algorithm that you use? Well, I don't, can't even spell algorithm. I don't know, <laughs> bro. I posted a video and it went viral. I don't know how. I don't know anything. It just did. Right. And then I gained followers off of that. <clears throat> can't do it again. I can't duplicate it. But right. And it's just like, I it. It would be one thing if we were doing this because it's like this is a thing I want to do. Yeah. You know, it's it's that commercialization of art in a way that's not fun. Yeah. That sucks. It was like the 70s and 80s and 90s. It's like they did comedy just to get the sitcom or get to a movie or something. Right. It wasn't like they used comedy to get to that. Now I just I want the social media to bring people to my comedy. I don't care about <laughs> skits and all that shit online. I really don't care. I just do it because that's how you get the, the views and people want to come see you. Because they're not coming to an open mic to see me on stage. Right. I don't want to cover that. I, I can just imagine someone, you know, talking to Jesus, being like, yo, how many followers you have? 12? Yeah, right. It's like, like, all right, I guess that's, that's good enough. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Rome's like, I got millions. <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Yeah. Set the game up. 
I hate it, man. But it's, I mean, it's true. I don't know. Like, I was, I was literally typing something this morning on Facebook, and that's how you can tell I'm old because I, I've gone through all the I platforms. Was typing. Yeah. <laughs> With my fingers, not my thumbs. <laughs> on a typewriter. <laughs> on Facebook. It's like, I was, you know, like I was, was MySpace cool? Was MySpace shut down? You couldn't get, couldn't, my, couldn't log my, in? Uh, no, that's my band page. Okay, uh, good, good. <laughs> no, but like I was, I was typing something up on Facebook because it's like I've run through all of them. I've, I've tried TikTok. I've tried Twitter, Instagram, fucking uh Vine back in the day. I had all that Vine. bullshit. Yeah. I tried it all too, man. Except Twitter. I've never been on Twitter. Twitter's just a hate machine. Yes. yes. It, That's what it seems like. I, I've gotten to the point where like I wake up in the morning and I'll check Twitter and literally before I check Twitter, my brain goes, what's everyone mad at today? Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the new news today? Guys, can I suggest something we talked about at the very beginning is just live in your own little cocoon and don't pay attention. <laughs> to, don't pay attention to anything going on other than the stuff you like. Yeah, you got a point because you drive yourself crazy like. I, I caught myself being like, why do I give a fuck about how many followers I got? I don't care who viewed it or whatever. I'm just posting right. it and I get off it. So I just post it and get off it now. Like, But this is kind of the midway point between both of those views because it's like nowadays if you want to get to – because the point I really want to get to is to just do – something creative where somebody pays me money. Mm -hmm. You want me to write a script for you? Fine, pay me. Yeah. You want me to fucking do sketches for TikTok? Fine, pay me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you nowadays you can't get that unless yeah. you do that See, for I, free essentially. I'm getting paid then, by Facebook, so I still do it. Like I get Facebook right? money for the reels, but it ain't nothing crazy, but at one time it was I was making money on that and I was really? like I'm going to keep doing it. So I want to get, get back to that point to where I was. I don't have to work this regular ass job picking up recycling. That's garbage. You know what I'm saying? I want to. <laughs> I'm up at 5:30 a.m. after I did a show last night, like midnight. I got to go to work, right? So that man, that was always the thing. That's still the thing that kills me. Sucks. You know? It sucks. It's tough, man. Yeah. But I, I wanna. I'm never gonna stop until I want to get to that point where I'm a headliner and I don't have to fucking work. Yeah, same. But thing, that man. takes forever. Even <laughs> once you like get to be a headliner, though, you still end up still, doing... Some people still working. And, right? Yeah. You know, you get all those... It, this is part of the reason why I like Burt Kreishner, though, is because, like, Burt is one of those dudes who, You've like... You've never said his name right once. <laughs> does it matter? Is he going to come down it here? Does. Is what he going to come did? down okay, here? Rafuk. Anyway, <laughs> tell, tell me more about Burt Kreishner, Rafuk. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> Fucking like my mom over here being like, darling, that's not how we say those names. That's my girlfriend. That's my girlfriend. She corrects me everything. Uh, uh, but one of the things I love about Burt is like so many times you watch him do projects and you can clearly tell it's just Burt wanted to do a thing. And like he was just like, what if we just did that as a TV show? And yeah. you know, like that's almost like hanging out at someone's house and filming it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like it's just yeah, it's just random. Sh but he's he's reached that stage where he could just do create something and people will flock to him because he's got the he's got the followers. So I got to get the followers to make sure I can get to that stage. You know? Yeah. But did he get the followers from nah, Twitter he, and no, Instagram no, and all that horse that, shit? He yeah. got the followers from doing comedy. Yeah. And yeah from but doing, he did, but he's and from well, doing he travel doing shows and shit. Too. The travel, oh yeah, the travel. He don't. He doesn't really ever. He talks about from the travel show on. He never really talks about like the beginning stages. You know, when he started doing comedy because he started in Florida, didn't he? Or he's from yeah. Florida. He's from Florida. I think actually his family lives in Tampa. I think so. Yeah, I think his his mom and dad still. Because he went here. to FSU. I know that. Yeah. Um. Fuck. Oh oh oh! We hit a lull. Might yeah. as well, Might as well pull this guy out. All right. I'm going to pass something across the table. Uh -oh. um, we can't spend, we've spent so much time just <laughs> describing this in detail that anyone who's ever heard this podcast can't listen to it again. Yeah. And he so says this every time. And I say this every time. <laughs> and, and eventually I'll shorten this part. Um, but just, you know, give us your gut reaction to what, what I'm about to give you here. Just how do you feel? What does it, what does it say to you? What is, he's stunned. It's stunned silence. <laughs> What the fuck is it? It's, it's, it's a great it's question. Yeah, what is it? Why don't you tell us what that is? 
Ed the Machine, I'm terrible. Regine tells a hundred of the funniest jokes he's ever heard. <clears throat> yes, that's he's a con. He's ever heard. He's ever heard. So no one else has heard his jokes but him. No, no, these are street jokes that he's heard, and now he's going to tell them to. Yeah, get, get. I gotta listen to it. Fuck it, oh, open. See, oh, look, bro. look at what's on the disc. See, say, have a little gander at that. that. Make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he wrote you? Um, uh, uh, sweet. Uh, that thing needed to be replaced oh. anyway. A, a sweet relative of mine bought this for me as a genuine gift, and we've been making fun of it on a podcast for three years. A hundred of the funniest jokes he. Ever heard? He's ever heard. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you tell us what Ed looks like? How do you feel about his uh, what he's presenting to the world? Ed looks like a mafia member. <laughs> he <laughs> sure does. People. He sure does. That is the smile of I could kill you right now <laughs> right. if I wanted to. This is I want to hear his jokes, man. Well, I mean, well you're, <laughs> you're about to hear number sixty-two. Okay. Um, we've done these. We're hearing this for the first time, just like you are. Yeah. Um, usually, these joke titles on the back don't match. About it's been about fifty fifty. Um, it's more like sixty forty. That's true. Point. He's actually been on a streak lately. My theory is that his last twenty five got somehow shifted up into like twenty five through fifty, or, or he something. forgot his jokes and just started rifting. I don't well, know. A lot, uh, so when you run down this list, a lot of these jokes sound the same yeah. after a while because the, again, they're all street jokes. So it's always like a man walks into a bar, two people find themselves in a cab. But like with Ed, <laughs> he always adds in shit to He's, like uh, flavor let's it. Just, yeah, let's just let's let him let's let him suffer through it okay. without okay. explaining it. <laughs> I like oh, you say him. Oh motherfucker! Why didn't it come through the speaker? It went through the speaker earlier. We tested this. We tested it. Son of a bitch. We're all plugged in. God damn it. All right, I'm going to hit pause. <laughs> hey, Rafik, I hate... Everything <laughs> I hate. So <clears throat> I've probably said these exact words on this podcast. Probably. There was this magical time where you would take this disc and you'd put it on a tray oh, yeah. and you'd dr- and you know what? It. Instant music worked. It worked. And you know, it, it had a button and yep. you know what that button said on off off. Yep. And if I wanted to listen to music, I would turn it on <laughs> and I would drop a needle and like magic, it worked. Music every goddamn time. Yeah. How many times in your life? How many hours of your life have you spent screaming at an electronic? Just play the goddamn song. Just play it, please. Just play it. See what he's forgetting though is back in that day he needed to go out and find twelve D batteries to load up into his box. Yeah. And, and when I did, work. it, worked it worked every time. It worked. It skipped a little if you hit a bump. But you, know, <laughs> sure. or you walk too hard, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ! All right, this joke. We actually had to listen to the first part of it a couple times on accident. It's called a honeybee. I think it is about a honeybee, based on what we saw or heard. Here we go. Here we go. A couple decide to have a picnic in the forest. They lay down the blanket. They take the food out. The next thing you know, they're making out. They remove all their clothing, and they're about ready to have sex when a bee flies into the woman's vagina. The husband is hysterical. He doesn't know what to do. He calls 911. And they told him to bring her immediately that, to the did hospital. Did you see him? Did you hear him? So she stays perfectly still on the way down, and they get her in there, and the doctor walks in. He says, look, this has happened once or twice before. He says, my method of taking care of this is a little unusual, but if you bear with me and give me consent, we can get this fixed. So the husband says, what is Jesus it? He Christ. says, well, what I'm going to do, take a little bit of honey, put it on the tip of my penis, insert it slowly into your wife's vagina. The bee will see the honey, get on it, and I'll pull it out, and that'll be it. He says, go ahead, doc. So the doc takes the honey, puts it on the tip of his penis, inserts it slightly into her vagina, and the next thing you know, it goes in a little further, a little further, and now they start to get a little excited, and they're going at it hot and heavy, and they're really having wild, crazy sex, and the husband's like, what is going on? And the doctor says, change your plans. We're going to drown the bastard. My God. That was (laughs) one of the worst ones we've heard yet. Yeah. So He's flying through it. No, he wasn't. I was making a list of things he said that he did not need to talk about. I didn't know that, need to know that they were at a picnic. 
Yeah. I didn't need to know. I mean, I guess maybe it was important that they started having sex. I mean, you could just say a woman was sunbathing and a flea, a flea, a <laughs> bee <laughs> flew in. Like, you don't need yeah. to. Um, he made sure to tell us that they were laying out the food for the picnic. Thanks. I, I couldn't have he figured really that. He really wants to set the scene <laughs> for you. That's what you do at a picnic, right? He goes into real detail about the procedure. Then he re-explains the same procedure. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. I didn't want to interrupt it, but the next one we listen to, listen to how many times he kind of pauses because he's clearly trying to remember the next part. Mm. I caught that at least twice in this one. One of my f- one thing that I liked about this past one, when you're just talking about lo- uh, logic problems, is like, okay, let's say in this universe, all of this need to occur, right? If you're the husband in that scenario, and you go, uh, you've gone from trying to get the B out to quote drown the bastard yeah. to which I go so why do I still need you yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I could have put money on my own dick Dick right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't need to go to the doctor this does not feel like a 911 call no. like this <laughs> feels- <laughs> here's what's happened after 62 of these we've kind of started to see through with the first like five we were laughing oh my god this guy's so bad and yeah. now i i this is what i do when i listen i'm just now i'm you're, like you're, a, you're just listening to all the little stuff it's I'm, like when I'm, you listen to yourself i'm a surgeon now when yeah. i listen to these jokes like yeah. i'm just cutting through he didn't need that didn't he oh there was a pause there because he forgot what he was going to say um that was as bad as at least that one was coherent we, yes. there, there have been a few that, I mean, three comedians couldn't even understand what happened in the joke. It kind of feels like sometimes he's recording when he's tired yeah. and like he's, he's like forgetting things more often or like missing a beat or like trying to re-remember what the joke was like <laughs> midway through so the yeah, joke. Yeah. He's down or nothing? He's just talking? Yeah. Uh, apparently. Like, <laughs> well, listen to him because I promise you. I'll try not to interrupt, but I'll wave at you or something. Listen to how many times he he'll uh, uh, like he's clearly yeah. not remembering yeah, I heard that a couple times in this, that one. All like right. He's trying to be a one take wonder on these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one is called Gorilla in Tree. In Tree. A gorilla escapes from the zoo, and a man walks into his backyard and notices there's a gorilla in a tree. He calls animal control. Right there. <laughs> the guy shows up. He's got a pair of handcuffs, a stick, a chihuahua. There was a cut. A right. There was a cut. Did you hear that? He says to the guy, short-handed, you're going to have to help me out here. So the homeowner says, okay, what do I do? He said, well, I'm going up in the tree with the stick and knock the gorilla out. When the gorilla lands on the ground, you let the chihuahua go. The chihuahua will go for his private parts. The gorilla will cross his hands to block it. You slap the handcuffs on him. Good Lord. He says, well, what's the shotgun for? And the guy says, if I fall out of the tree another first, cut. shoot the chihuahua. If I fall out of the tree first, shoot because he doesn't want the chihuahua to bite his balls. Ah. It's funny because it's about balls. I guess. <laughs> so would it, would it pain you to know that this guy regularly plays the cruise ship circuit? That this guy gets to be a headliner as opposed to you. How, how does that make you feel? <laughs> I want to kill him right now. I want to go on that cruise and just heckle him the whole time. Why don't you tell another street joke? Yeah, just say all his punchlines right before he says them. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I don't, you know, I, I got to say, it doesn't even make me miserable anymore. The last few times mm. we've done this, the last few times we've done this, I've been just... Miserable. Like I just wanted to die. Now I'm just like, yeah, this is this is Ed. This is what he does. He's he, he's slowly going through the process of grief. Yeah, you know? I'm in acceptance. <laughs> yeah, but it's sad is because people see that and they're like, this is comedy. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't know. Like, well, he has a I don't know what if we said this already, but he has a genuine act and it's not bad. He's actually a talented comedian. I don't I don't think he's time. funny. You wouldn't yeah. think he's funny, yeah. but he entertains cruise ship crowds really yeah. well. Yeah. You make money doing that. And uh, to so. the point where my f- relatives buy me these. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the problem is I broke he it. recorded this in his fucking toilet. Yeah. You know, he was on his bed laying down. He was on his bed laying down, <laughs> jerking off his dog. See, yeah. and that's kind of the, to me, that's the bigger problem here is that to your point, he went and he did a show. Yeah. So you go and you watch the show and you're like, oh, this is comedy. Uh, you know, like 
if you're 60, 70 years old, you're like, ah, oh, this is great, yeah. right? And then you go and you buy a CD it, and you go, this is also comedy. Yeah. <laughs> and then Terrible. this, yeah. right? It's like you play this for your grandkids and your grandkids are like, man, one day I am going to own this house and I cannot wait for that to happen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> going to burn this CD. That's the first thing. We <laughs> well, Gordon, it's been very, very lovely to have you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you for coming. Do you have Appreciate any you upcoming? Today is July the 16th. When will this come out? Uh, probably the beginning of next month. I think we... Yeah, usually we, at the start of yeah. August. So the beginning of August, I'll be at Size Splitters. I'll be hosting for Jeff Die all weekend. Okay. So, yeah, I'll be, awesome. I'll be doing that. That's the next thing I... Co- for this, when this is coming out, then, yeah. I'll all right, well, I mean, post whatever is coming up in uh, August. Yeah, I got that in um. I have little shit in August. I'd have to look, but yeah, yeah I, I got that. That's the main thing in August that I got. And then I'll also be, oh, I'll be at Vizani's, uh, steak, steak house, steak house and comedy place. The 2019th of August of August. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm sorry. The 20th. Yeah. 20th, 20th of, August. of August. Yeah. I forget who I'm hosting for. Year of our Lord 2022. Okay. Social stuff. Uh, my Instagram is the Gordon Dixon, Facebook Gordon Dixon. Um, uh, my YouTube channel is the Gordon Dixon. It's all the Gordon Dixon. The so Gordon Dixon. Everything. Yeah, I keep. I try to keep it all the same. You're not I don't a remember. Gordon Dixon. You're I'm the. the I'm the only Gordon Dixon. You're <laughs> the only Dixon in my family. You're doing the definitive article. Me and Dixon. Yeah. What, was it Devin Pickett we had on here, or it was either Devin or somebody else we had on here, where it's like we. Uh, Googled them, and there was, like, another comedian with their name. Oh, I can't remember <laughs> who that was. But, yeah, we were right in front of them. We were like, we were like uh-oh, it's look like, at this. Yeah, it's like, you're not even the most famous version of <laughs> When I Google my name, it's a bunch of old white dudes. So I think I'm good. I don't yeah. know if anyone's... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what about your podcast? Oh uh, yes, uh, Don Legend Podcast. We try to... We're on Spotify and on um, Anchor. Okay. So it's just the Don Legend Podcast. Uh, we also have a show at Spitfire Comedy House in downtown St. Pete called Unscripted, where it's two comics or improvers. They go head to head and they um, improv jokes out of a bucket, or they can ask the audience for suggestions. And then for two minutes, they just go up with how many, every many jokes they can come up with. Nice. Off of, you know, you can keep picking or you keep asking the audience. So we do that uh, once every two months now. Okay. So the next one will be in September the 12th, I think. All right. It's a fun show. If you guys want to sign up, you can sign up online. It's fun, man. It's always a good crowd. Like last night we had like 20, 25 people in the audience, so it's always a good time. And it's ten bucks. The comics got to pay ten bucks, but you can win two hundred. So an improver last night won two hundred. Wow, so. that's awesome. Yeah. I know. So one last question. I'm gonna send this one over to Rafouk Shahin. Um, Rafouk. Yeah. <laughs> so how about this? Hmm. It is good question. It is good. Your is. your leader is not he's not doughy. He is very strong, <laughs> strong like man. bear. Right like bear, like big strong bear. I bet like he, big hairy bear <laughs> who holds you tight I and bet keep he, you warm. I bet he make lots of sex on hot American woman, yeah. Mm, rippling biceps, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're done. That's now we're done. done. <laughs> Everything we do matters. Hey, thanks for listening to that episode of So How About This. Whatever you are using to listen, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit whatever extra button they make you push these days. On Twitter, you can find us at So How About This One. The words are So How About This, followed by the number one. Leave us some beautiful comments there. Ask us questions. If you want us to talk about something on the podcast, let us know. We'll bring it up while we record, and uh, we'll see you next time.